what is happening everyone the doctor is right here and welcome back to another stream and today we're going to be doing some more my heroes one justice i did it wrong it's my hero one's justice but that don't matter oh let me get to a place where the music's not so loud so, okay, so you guys can actually hear me Alright, hold on, let me go to settings. Let me see if I can turn down sound a little bit. And it is good to be. Wow, it's already down. Oh, okay, the menu's the only thing that's not. The menu's just too loud, but the actual end game is the right volume. Alright. Anyways, it is good to be back streaming. And we are playing a game that I actually have not streamed in a while, um, and it is uh, My Heroes, you know, One Justice. I think this is a pretty fun game, and we're going to be doing some. There's a bunch of random stuff mainly. We can't. I already done story mode. You can't even do story mode on stream for some reason. So we're going to go to training. But we're not going to just do training mode this stream. Let's see. Now, the other day I was working on Fumikage Tokoyami a little bit. Hold on, let's get... So this, this will beat up all might as per usual. Now this is a game I used to play a ton on the Switch. I have played it quite a bit on PlayStation 4, but I used to play it a ton on Switch. I think at one point I had over 200 hours into it on Switch alone. Alright. I'm also planning to do some mission mode today. We won't be able to um, play online though, but that's okay. The online's pretty laggy anyways. Alright, let's see. Now there was a- I was mainly working on some combos. And one combo I was working on was how you can kinda- if you time it just right, you can keep looping this. And this is such a weird combo too. I don't know the exact timing though. I was working on it a little bit yesterday. Now the way of Fumikage Tokoyami combos is pretty interesting. He has like these weird bounces that you have to keep micro walking for. Oh, I get down here on my. Don't glitch out on me on my. I think what they intended you to do is stuff like this. Which is good, but um, you can take it farther than that. Like maybe they intended you to do this. Or maybe that micro walk stuff is intentional. Like you barely have to micro walk. It had to be intentional, at least to some degree intentional. The crazy stuff. I don't know if it's my stream manager skipping or not. Hold on, yeah. Refresh that. You can do it a few times. I 
I think you get how many how many bounces do you get? I think you can do three bounces and then the fourth bounce will um, slam him on the ground for good. Yeah. Oh, why is the controller drifting? Wow. Look at that. No, dude. It's not severe or anything, but it's drifting a little bit sometimes. Look at that. No, dude. That's bringing up some PTSD. Oh, I did it again and messed up the combo. Stop doing that. Stop drifting. He's actually messed up the combo that time. Oh, I forgot to do the transform. You can end it off with just by doing this. Hold on, let me see if I can. One, two. Bonk. And then you can instantly start hitting them and then bam, 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 bam. If you're against the wall in a certain, you know, in a certain way, you can keep hitting them with that for a little bit. That's some pretty crazy damage if you can do that actually. That's a little bit of decent knockback for a move like that. Now one of the reasons why um, Tokoyami is high tier is how hard it is to actually hit him. And he does do some good like, you know, short, higher damage combos. Let's see if I can do one. That's not bad damage, but that's not the damage I'm looking for. But the important thing is it's short. Yeah, that's a better example. Like, look at that. That's some decent damage for how short it is. And one of the things about this game is that, you know, the assist can be used to stop people's combos. And you don't want overly long combos. Like characters who have like the shorter but stronger hitting combos are the ones who thrive better. Like All Might, All Might's one of the best in the game. He doesn't really have flashy combos, but he hits like a truck and he's super fast. Let's see if I can do a good combo. Oh yeah, that's a good one. A decently good one. You can also um, do this. Hold on. See if I can hit it. Like that works. Look at this. And you can move around while that's doing its thing. Man, he's stunned. Good grief. Like, that's good damage, dude. Oh, I didn't mean to do his level 2. I don't think he'll let you reset during... Yeah, you can't reset during this. For some reason. We'll have to watch the full level 2. In my opinion, at least, I think um, Fumikage Tokoyami's level 2 is kind of a waste of meter. This is practically no scaling to. Like there's there's just a lot better than that. But the main reason is because of how annoyingly long it is. Like just just do Hold on, just do this. Oh it's full meter, you can literally do three of these. 
It does good damage, and you you know you can follow it up if you know what you're doing. Wait, can he not? Hold on, can he not um, bounce out of that? Wow, that's crazy. He can't bounce out of that. Do I have bounce on? Okay, cool. That's actually I didn't know that actually. That's actually pretty nuts. Um. Let's see. Yeah, another good thing about the super is it may be long, but look, Tokoyami can do anything he wants during this. He can't block, but he can move freely. So during um, them, you know, you using his level one on an opponent, and let's say they bring out an assist. Hold on, let me see if I can try to. Enemy settings action. Uh, sidekick. How do I make him use the sidekick? Um, action after guarding. Guarding is normal. Yeah, let's do a sidekick on taking damage. Let's see if I can actually avoid a sidekick while doing this. Try that again. Look at that. I completely avoided his sidekick and now I can do more. See that? Look at this, look at this, look at this. See that? Oh no, he got the infinite sidekick meter. He can keep trying to attack me. Like, that's crazy. Like, from my knowledge, no other character. Let's uh, recover mid There we go. No other character during a combo has free, can just freely move <laughs> to avoid assists. Now, of course, some assists will be harder than others to avoid, and maybe some assists you can avoid if they bring it out instantly like that. But the fact that during his, you know, first super move or whatever, this one right here his um, plus ultra one you can just freely run around to avoid the assist they try to stop you with and then go straight back into comboing him like that's kind of nuts see what I mean look at that you can do the re level ones now the scaling's pretty and you know crazy but You can if you want. You have that option. Probably the best thing would be able to do is that if you can, you know, just confirm his little one-two there. Do the super move. Avoid assists if you can. And then let's see if I can do like a basic combo after that. Now, now I'm far from a pro at this game, so you know, take any tips I give with a grain of salt. But like. Let's see if I can, what kind of combo I can do after that. Okay, hold on. I know what to do. So, you know, let him do that. Avoid assists if you can. Then you want to slam him and then do something like that. Now, I messed up the timing and he was able to recover. But don't mess up the timing and you can definitely be able to do something like that. I want to keep trying it until I get it right. So I can just, you know, correctly demonstrate it. So blah blah blah, avoid assist if you can. Oh, he's stunned. I messed it up anyways. Don't stun my man. It seems like that level one has decent stun too, but probably nothing too insane. Something like that. You know what I mean? Now my controller did drift, I meant to do this. But you see my point, you could easily do something like that. And not only do you get a decent combo for one meter, um, you know, depending on who you fight, you can provoke someone to use an assist during this level one, but then you just run away from the assist. And they waste an assist. I'm pretty sure it takes all of your assist meter 
put on. I'm pretty sure it takes all of your assist meter to get out of a combo. I'm pretty sure it only takes half to use to do a combo. I'm pretty sure it's on. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it also depends on what assists you use, depending on how much they meter they'll waste. But if you use an assist um, to get out of a combo, it, I'm pretty sure it wastes all of the assist meter and it takes a very long time to get your assists back. Some assists do charge faster than others. Example, as you can see, Aizawa charged faster than Kyokujiro. Kyokujiro is definitely a top tier assist too. It's not like insanely good for getting out of combos, but it's like insanely good for doing combos. And maybe not with this character, but for the most part. I think it's pretty crazy how if there there's no what's the word I'm looking for they can't bounce after the super kind of reminds me of my hero once justice 2 that overall I could kind of do something similar like I figured out at least in you know unpatched my hero once justice 2 if you're near a wall it was overhaul and do his like level one or whatever, they'll bounce on the wall. They can't air recovery and then you can just do it three times just because. Like just because you want to, you can do it three times. Just for the sole reason of you want to. Sorry about the bit right by the way. I don't know if the bit rates iffy for you guys, it probably is. There's a lot of internet trafficking today. And because of the internet trafficking, it's probably not going to be a super long stream. But hopefully that clears up soon. I do want to stream for at least an hour though. Let's see. Let's go to character selection. But yeah, Fumikage Tokoyami can do some pretty crazy stuff. All Might's pretty crazy too. Shadow Todoroki, of course, being the best, mainly due to his insane mobility. Another thing that thrives in this game is mobility. Like, some characters, for the literal life of them, they cannot do anything against a character who has good mobility. At least it's very hard to. I saw this one, um, like, competition. There's, you know, like, online competition or whatever, where a group of people who play this game did it. And this one guy was being Endeavor. And he was fighting against this Deku shoot style. And all the Endeavor dude really had to do was just keep his distance and keep throwing his insanely overpowered fireballs. Like projectiles. I think he has two different projectiles. And there was almost nothing. I mean, I'm sure, you know, there was something the Deku shoot style could do. But for the most part, the match was so in the Endeavor player's favor was actually insane. And I was just sitting there like, goodness grief, there was literally nothing he could do. Now, Tamara Shigaraki, a lot of people consider him, him the worst in the game. And that's very accurate. Um, his mobility is mediocre. You know, it's nothing special. It's actually, I feel like it's slower than a lot of people's, honestly. A little bit at least. Um, all his combos are long. Even something basic like this takes six months. And he's completely vulnerable to um, people to attack you. He has no damage. 
very little damage at least. And yeah. I will say though his super one is really good. His level one, I mean it's it's actually really good. Um, but another problem with it is that he's very vulnerable. It does have a little a little protection to it because with at least some assists, they have a hard time actually getting to Tamra because you know that they'll call their assist, right? But they'll get caught in his attack. So his level one's actually pretty good, but it is slow. Um, like I don't even know what to say about this attack. This attack's just. Like, what am I supposed to be getting done with this? He doesn't have a way to really launch people into the air. Like at all. I guess this is his way of launching people into the air. I don't know really what he wants me to do afterwards though. Maybe I can do this and kind of bring him down to the ground. Maybe. Can he combo into that? Like, if he could combo into that, I could understand why you would take a risk on that attack. It almost looks like it's meant to, but it doesn't. <laughs> Just such a weird attack. I'm pretty sure if you time it right, yeah, if you time it spit perfectly, you can hit two of them and get a little bit of damage. <laughs> like, huh? Can I make anything out of this? Maybe I can loop it, hold on. Let's do always oh, at max. Let's see if I can do a loop. <laughs> and he's stunned. Hold on. Uh... Okay. Let's see if I can do a loop. <laughs> oh wow, after two of them, he instantly goes to the ground. Wow. No, I can even do a leap. <laughs> oh, he's stunned now. Yeah, you can't do more than two in a combo. It's not like it would have been good if you could. I do like how this is pretty good because it does do decent damage and you can go straight into another... You can go straight into a combo. Bonk. That's not too bad. But again, it's just, it's very long and he's, he's just so vulnerable during these combos. It's a lot of scaling too. But he does have good stun, I'll give him that. And if you can time that right, the timing's hard, but if you can time that right, you can cancel the first hit of that into that and you can just keep looping. Now, you know, on on first viewing, you might think this character looks overpowered. The way he can keep looping this, but it's just far from the truth. In reality, you probably won't be hitting any overly long combos with this character online.
Ah, uh, the key got out of it. That's why. That's one of the reasons why it's important to cancel the first hit. Like you know, honest thinking, first viewing, he looks tough, but he's really not. I think literally the only thing this guy got is long cool combos. And if you let Tamara um, combo you, like yeah, it's going to do a lot of damage. But you know, just bring out an assist. Be like his combos are too long. Bring out an assist. They don't do damage fast enough. Like, look, let me see if I can get something real quick. Let's get... Midoriya. Midoriya is a mid-tier character. Oh wait, that's a normal. Back, back, back. Oh, okay, it's on manual, never mind. I thought I had him on normal. Another thing about Tomra's combos is that he's very vulnerable. He practically stays in like the same position on the screen, just very easy to get hit by assists. He can't take no one into the air, which can help avoid assists. His combos are long. And combos ain't everything in this game, too, by the way. Like I said, range is the ride's pretty hard, too. And I should note that Tomura has nothing involving range. And you know, just let me give me an example of the difference between a good and bad uh, long and short combo. Like, Midoriya can do this. He has to charge attack, a lot of movement. Look at that. That is more damage. That is more damage in like less than half the time. And during that combo, Midoriya does a charge attack, which can help avoid assists in some cases, depending on your opponent's timing. I'm sorry that the internet's messing up, dude. This is all this internet traffic, man. But yeah, sorry about all the. Just so much internet traffic right now, but. He can do more damage, or roughly the same, half the time. Plus, during the combo, he does a charge attack, and he gets into the air, too. Which can cause, you know, f more movement, which can help him help avoid assists, depending on your opponent's timing. And he has more options, too. Like, he's not completely screwed if you bring out and assist either. And you can also do something like this. Another charge attack during the combo. Another thing Midoriya got over Tamra is range. He got range attacks and he's faster too. Another thing Midoriya got over Tamra is EX. Not every character has these EX but Midoriya does. So after a combo, if you hold down the button, let's say you want to do this, you can hold it down, and I have an EX, and I have a stronger version. Like Midori is not even a strong character, like I said, he's roughly mid-tier, but he's so much better than Tamara. Yeah, the bit rate is <laughs> the bit rate is dying right now. Seeing so much internet traffic. <clears throat> like being able to combo someone for a long time is not 
what makes a character good in this game. Midoriya also has way better attacks for getting opponents into the wall as well. What can cause for, you know, insane, you know, amounts of damage. Like, that's some good damage right there. No meter, no assist, that's good damage. And all because, you know, charged up, you know, this attack. I should also note, you don't have to use this attack to charge it up. You can also charge it up by doing, by your other quirk special, this. See, look, I'm holding circle right now. And now I have this charge, or it should. See that? You can also charge up during stuff like that, too. See that? And it's charged basically sends your opponent flying. <clears throat> So let's do this. You know, that's going to get them into the wall if you're near a wall guaranteed. Now I can have this charged. Now I have my distance, I did a big combo. Spent no meter. And it was a decently fast combo too for a wall crumple. Just pretty good stuff, you know what I mean? Now, I actually mostly main um, Midoriya, so I do have a few good tips with them. If you are near a corner, you can actually do the first three hits of his um, B and B before doing this. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if it does any more damage. Probably not, but you can do it. It's probably not really worth doing, to be honest, but it does, it does look cool. It launches them, fall back into it. Maybe that was a side switch there. That was cool. So I do kind of like doing that. But anyways, uh, what was... That's pretty much the point I wanted to make, mainly. There's much better examples, too. Let's see. In Fumikage Tokoyami, his combos may seem pretty long. But, the, uh, but again, that's not really what makes him good. What makes him really good is this crazy like mobility and how it's hard to even get to him because of Dark Shadow. Another thing um, that's good about you know his you know combos in general, you know, back to the combos, is the fact where he can um, move during his level one. What do we want to do next? I hope it's just my stream manager dying, not the stream guys. Uh, there's so much internet trafficking. I just wanted to stream for a few minutes. Um, let's see. Shadow is easily the best character in the game. I don't think even Psychopath would deny that. I don't think even Psychopath would deny that Todoroki's the best. Costume presets. Costume presets are costumes and accessory line on a set of ahead of time which can then be loaded before a fight. Yeah, I actually did make a few costumes for the characters. This guy does got some really cool combos. And he, the crazy part is he doesn't even have like the best combos. Like, that's some great damage, and the combo's not super long. Like, the combo's not crazy long, but and that's some great damage, too. But the, one of the main problems with that combo is how much... How there's, like, a little bit too much movement. Depending on certain parts of the arena you're at, it would be hard to hit. It's 
so I mean it kind of messes it up. I'm gonna be honest, some of Todoroki's better combos might be stuff like this. Just to get your opponent away. Because what where Todoroki really thrives is this crazy mobility. And crazy projectiles and stuff. He, he can just kind of run around, freely, run, almost freely run around the map and do whatever he wants. So you can do some cool combos with Todoroki, but you might not always want to... Uh, you know, risk of the assist. And from my knowledge, doing this little beginning ice thing here is kind of more for flexing. Because it, though it looks cool, it just makes the combo longer. And, um, it just makes the combo longer and it takes a lot of time. So it's probably best to, if I can get my controller to stop drifting, probably just best to do more stuff like... I gotta do three hits there. Stuff like that. But as you can see, it's really not that much more damage than, you know, this. I don't see if I can hit it again. I'm messing it up. I'm pressing the wrong gun button. It doesn't really do much more damage than that. Like doing something like... Why well, is my controller drifting? Doing something like this. It didn't even hit good reap. See if I can demonstrate it. <clears throat> doing something like this. Doesn't really do that much more than... That. It really don't. It don't do much more. Like it does more, but it doesn't do a lot more. Like look at that, that's not a lot more damage. But what it is, is a lot more time. Now, if your opponent doesn't have any assists charged up, yeah, go for it. Why not? You know what I mean? If, you're, if your opponent has assists charged up, go for it. But if they have an assist and you're like, okay, I want to do this, you know, flashy cool combo. Instead of getting to hit your flashy cool combo, you're just going to get hit by an assist. And then you're going to have someone like All Might on top of you. And Todoroki strives from kind of... Not that Todoroki can't defend himself in close range. I'm not saying that. Again, this is the best character in the game. But Todoroki mainly the rock. Like, you'll see a lot, quite a bit of Todorokis online. This is what you see them doing. And it may look silly. But when you're trying to get to them, that's all they really need to do. You should, I should also note that they can do this. They don't have to ride it. And also, if you get hit by the ice at any point, or you get hit, and he can throw like a fireball at you to do more damage. You can also do something like this. Very easy, really good damage, excellent level one. You can also, you can also do something like this. If you really, really want, you can do this. I'm not kidding. Now, obviously, I would not recommend wasting all of your meter to do this. <laughs> but it's so easy in the fact that you can. Like, this is such a great combo right here. One meter, very little scaling, great damage. Like, that's really good damage for such a quick one meter combo. And you can combo after it, too. Like... Like I demonstrated, you don't. You also don't have to do another level one. You can just start comboing them. And just start beating the crap out of them. Like just such a strong character. His level two is okay. Like it's okay. His level two is nothing special.
Zelda 2 is really cool, I won't deny that, but it's nothing special. You know, just slightly below what your average level 2 would do, or at least around average, it's, you know, it's nothing crazy. Which most characters level 2s are nothing crazy, other than just hitting like, you know, a lot of damage at once. I really like Midoriya's um, level 2 because it has some utility that's really good. But we're not, we'll, we'll talk about Midoriya in a minute. What else did I want to say about Todoroki? Yeah, Todoroki is a good example of that combos don't really... I mean, they thrive, but like, you know, you're not just going to run in and start doing some, you know, a billion hit massive combo, which you can, like, you can do some insane combos in this game, but just because you can, that doesn't necessarily mean they're good. You know what I mean? Again, it's so, it's like something that you would see on stinking someone who just picked up the game, but this is just a good, in my opinion, this is just such a good combo. Good damage, one meter, and for someone like Todoroki, it literally sends them to the other side of the stage. You waste one meter, you waste no assist, you waste very little time. Um, the chances of them getting to bring out an assist before you hitting the super are very low. And that's assuming they have a super to hit you with. And if you see an assist, you can always be like, oh, he's using an assist, I'll just do this to try to, you know, damage control assists or whatever, you know what I mean? You can always just react to that. Just, it it seems so simple, but it's such a good way to combo for Todoroki because it works, it works well. You know what I mean? You'll, you'll always have at least one meter with Todoroki. Don't waste it on level twos. I don't know too much about level threes because I've never messed with them much. And I've never seen many people use them. Because I think most people don't want to use them. How do you do the... There you Like, the level 3s are a bit weird, and they do like a laughably large amount of damage, but I never really see people use level 3s. They scale like crazy, too. I scale crazy too, the level 3s. Let's see how much this does. There's a practically no scaling level 2. It almost seems like it did a little bit more with the extra attacks. Like combo wise, you can do almost as much damage easily with the level 2. Instead of a level 3 and you only waste, waste 2 meter. Just the level 3s ain't very good in this game. Let's do a practically no scaling level 3. Man, that is pretty crazy though. But it is 3 meters. I don't know, man. That does seem pretty good. Like, if you're just trying to end off a round, the chances are, unless you're absolutely destroying your opponent, um, you probably won't have three meter. I don't know. I don't even know if they're banned in the competitive meta, because, I, again, I don't see people use level threes. Let's see, there was something I wanted to talk about with Midoriya. Hold on, I want to check how much this does real quick. This probably scales like crazy. Well, maybe not like crazy. This probably scales. Because it's not many hits. How much does this do? Roughly the same. 
See what I mean? Like, it's not about the long combos. Like, that does just as much as something like this. Like, that literally looks like just as much. Maybe even a tiny bit less or more, we'll see. It's roughly the same, if anything. Yeah, it's like li literally right at the same. A little more, a little less, or literally the same. Because this game does scale pretty crazily. So it's not about the long combos or the hits in this game. That's where I'm trying to get at. Not that I would recommend using level 2s too much anyways, because, again, you can... Like, that level 2 wasted 2 meters. You can get this with 1 meter. You know what I mean? And get distance. Or if you want, you can get close. But I, with Todoroki, chances are you're usually going to be sitting back and beating people up from a distance. Let's see. Anything else I want to talk about with Todoroki? I mean, see, I mean, Todoroki's fun for sure. But I can't think of anything else to talk about him right now. I should also mention. I think I'm. I think I briefly mentioned it, but just because Todoroki is like overpowered from a distance. Like I said, that does not mean he can't thrive up close. Like, he got good stuff. Like, he's pretty fast. This is a pretty good absorb attack. You know, in general, his walk speed and stuff seems okay. A little faster than Tomra, if anything. Tomra just feels stiff. He may be the same, but Tomra just feels way stiffer and slower. I'm pretty sure he's slower, Tomra. Like, Todoroki feels much better than Tomra, um, but... You know, he got fast attacks for fast combos, like I mentioned. Um, he got the options to be like, oh, I'm going to a charge attack now to try to damage control when people send out assists, etc. Um, one thing he doesn't have, like, crazy, that he's not crazy at is getting people into walls. Not that you really need to. Like the wall the wall mechanic can be pretty janky in this game. Like the scaling, like it's already just pretty janky and the scaling is nuts. The walls are definitely they I mean they can be good. Don't get me wrong, getting people into the wall is good. I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like it's not, but it's not like it's not essential. But he can do something like this to help get people in the walls. See. But it's not like how do I put this? It's not essential in most cases to do. Like with some characters like Midoriya and Ochiko, they're really good at getting people into walls. <clears throat> but for a lot of characters, you don't really need it. But like, like I, like I mentioned, char some characters like Ochiko and Midoriya are just simply really good at getting into p people into walls and it's a mechanic they can help abuse. But again, just because a character's not very good at doing it doesn't mean that they're bad at all. Because the wall mechanic is not as busted as you may think it is. Let's see, let's get some assists. Like, a lot of Ochiko's assists can get people into walls. Because the problem with walls, because like I mentioned before, they're janky. They feel like they barely work half the time. So it's very hard to actually 
util utilize the walk correctly. The scaling is insane, and because of how much longer it makes your combos, it can easily provoke your opponent to charge up their assist, or if they have an assist, they can just go ahead and use it, and that can be really bad. But the main reason why Ojiko is, you know, good at getting people into walls is because if she, you know, like her combos instantly get you in the air, and she has this attack right here that you can choose to stop using at any time. Like you can, I'm pretty sure you can choose to stop using this attack at hit two. Yeah, literally. Like if you just tap, you can get two hits. You can get three hits, four hits, five hits, six hits. Like one, two. Hold on, let's see if I can do like a one, two, three, four, five. Funk. Should be able to do a one, two, three, four as well. One, two, three. That's the three. Let's see if we can do a one, two, three, four. I know you can do a one, two, three, four. Not that it matters too much. There you go, there's the one, two, three, four. Like, if you time it right, you can practically let go of that attack at any time. So if you're far away from a wall, let's say you get them in the air, this is her basic combo, you know, can hit it from anywhere. So if you're far away from the wall, just keep doing it. If you're close to a wall, let's see if we can get them close to the wall. And you don't want it to mess up. Like here. Aw, oh, he got out of it. Hold on. That was, that was the perfect position to demonstrate it. Hold on. So if you're, let's say you're close to the wall, right? Somehow you're close to the wall in the combo. You can just kind of do it earlier. Let's go ahead and get him in the wall. And you can combo him more. But look at the scaling, by the way. Like, look at that scaling. Like, that entire combo did barely any more on the wall. Oh, Echigo is one of my favorites to use in this game, because how fun she is, though. That works. Oh. oh, stun, let's go. Her rock attack has decent stun too. Like look how good she is at getting people into the wall. <laughs> Crazy dude. So janky though, look at that. <laughs> look how janky this gets. But it worked. Such a fun character to use. You can also do that. Pretty sure you can do this too. I'm pretty sure that combos if you do it right. Maybe just two hits. Yeah, two hits. There we go. Like if you want them just to stay on the ground for whatever reason. Oh, maybe this could help if you sense that they're going to use an assist. Like, if they bring out the assist, you're like, okay, I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to completely, or at least try to completely avoid that assist attack, you know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Yeah, my problem with Ochiko is that, you know, a lot of her combos are long. That's a problem. Um, she's not very good at range. She relies a lot on, like, wall combos and stuff, which, like I mentioned... Can get janky, has crazy scaling. But she's not a bad character. It's just, the way she is, it's just really hard for her to do, like, solid damage before they can bring out an assist. It's not that she can't do damage, it's just that it's kind of hard for her to have time to do it.
like even her um, level one, just like practically no scaling level one doesn't do all that much. Okay, that's not that bad actually. The only problem is that it's long. But to be fair, if they brought out an assist during that, it would probably be hard for them to... Hold on, let's do... It would probably be hard for them to sidekick, actually. Let me take a look. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty good. How about in, like... Let me do this. Just like a basic combo. Oh, let's make their action. Sidekick on taking damage now. Let's see if it works that good in the air too. Yeah, look at that. That's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it don't do much. But... It's kind of hard for them to hit you. If they do it here though, they'll probably hit me. Yeah. Wow, they still get hit a little bit too. So let's do this. Let's do it earlier. Yeah, because it puts them behind me. Why don't we just one hit react? Would that even work? Oh, I don't think that even combos. So yeah, you would be in trouble if they did it before your attack. That'd be kind of a safe way to avoid repercussions, but not really. Do this. Ooh, okay. So if you react to them bringing out an assist, you can just do this to avoid it. That's actually really good, actually. I mean, you would have to keep your eyes locked on the screen to make sure you can react in time. You can completely avoid their assist by doing that. Do a basic little. That's actually really good, actually. She can avoid assists pretty well. If if you know what you're doing, at least. I right, recover midair. But anyways, um, my internet's having an aneurysm. I wanted to stream for at least uh, I don't know another hour uh, today, but it is. It is just dying. What is this border? 20 that'd be unlocked. Use EX plus ultra attacks five times. Let's go. Man, that's how little I used to level threes. Well, there's the proof, like I was mentioning earlier, that I never really messed with learning the level threes very much. But anyways. Um, but anyways, um, thank you for anyone who watched. Uh, sorry for the shorter stream, but the internet's dying. I'm going to check out the VOD after this to make sure it's... Hopefully not as bad as it has been during streaming. Um, the internet trafficking is nuts right now, so I apologize for that. Hopefully it's not that bad tomorrow for our evil weekend, but hopefully the stream isn't as turned out didn't turn out as bad as I think it did. But anyways, uh, thank you all again. I do want to start streaming this again sometimes, uh, so we'll definitely try to get back to it soon. But yeah, like even as I'm speaking, it's just skipping like crazy. I hope that's just the stream messing up, not the actual stream stream, but just the stream manager. But anyway, thank you all again. This is Dr. Red. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next Arrival Weekend. Have a good one.